Hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm Pippi Peterson. You can connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as my website at pippinings.com. So I'm very excited because uh, I'm just about to leave. I'm headed to the airport and uh, my favorite neighbor Shelly is dropping me off and um, uh, I will be going to Puerto Rico and the reason for this is to check off two bucket list items. So you might know I recently kind of redid and um, you know refreshed my bucket list just with my dog dying you know it was like all these things going through my head and um, so the two things that I have on my bucket list I really want to complete was one was a zip line over like a rainforest canopy and so I'm gonna be going on the world's longest zip line it's like over a mile and a half so that is one and then the other thing that I really wanted to see was the bioluminescent waters so I'll be kayaking in this one bay where they have these bioluminescent, uh, I don't know, algae or like little plankton or something and they glow when you uh, kayak through it. Or like if you swim in it, I mean you're not supposed to swim. So, um, but anyway, those are my two bucket list items and I have a long ongoing bucket list item which is to spend as much time on beautiful beaches as possible. So I will also be checking off that one. However, that's gonna be an ongoing one. So anyway, I'm pretty excited and uh, let's get the trip started. Well, I made it to Miami and I've been here for like maybe four hours already. I got something to eat. I read my book for maybe like two hours which is great because I love those kind of books and I walked around um, so at first I was planning on like leaving the airport and just kind of going to look around but I've been to Miami a few times so I kind of just wanted to like hang out you know I didn't really want to do much so um, anyway I've been here just kind of hanging out and did a little bit of work and stuff like that so and I probably got like about probably about an hour left until uh, the next flight and the next flight's like three hours so uh, I'm gonna get there at like 2 a.m. and then I pick up a rental car and drive for like an hour and a half <laughs> so um, so yeah I'm, how exciting right Good morning from Puerto Rico. So I'm ready to have some breakfast. This is what I'm having. I've got cantaloupe, cornbread, and cheese, and then I got mint tea that I brought from, uh, from home. Okay, so I made it to the place at like four in the morning, and uh, you guys wanna check it out? So, this is the kitchen and you can see the ocean like right out front hammocks there's a choice of four different hammocks to choose from and my morning tea so you got the refrigerator there I already went shopping to get a few items and um, the table I've they had it all set up nice and I've totally taken it over as my desk and there's a little seating area which I've yet to sit on and they got a little TV which I have also yet to watch I don't know if I will and this is the bedroom got some mirrors up the bed and then back here got the closet and it came with those robes those are robes on the side and then there's my clothes and it's cool, I love they have um, these little skylights. Those are just those little glass block tiles. So they got a few. I guess they covered those ones up. But they, they work, or they have pretty good light. And then this is the bathroom. See, they got some more of those little skylights, which is so cool. So, that's the place. Let's go take a look outside and see the patio, which is the coolest part because 
I pretty much don't want to leave the patio. <laughs> Can you believe that? So while I'm here, these are my chairs to hang out in as well as, you know, that little table over there. And then the patio. And they got a little grill there if I needed it. But the best part is that. Can you believe it? And then they've got um, a bigger patio over here, but I don't think I'll ever hang out over there. That's kind of like their front yard. You can see the mountains behind. And just the amazing, amazing, amazingness that I cannot get enough of. So these are one of those gems that uh, make Airbnb like so incredible. Um, you might be wondering like, well, how much does a place like this cost? Well, you know what? It's cheaper than like a room in like almost any any town hotel. Um, I mean, like pretty much cheaper than most hotel rooms for a night. So, and I've got, you know, a kitchen and a whole living space and a patio and like just this, I can't even believe it. So, uh, yeah, so if you're interested, if you actually want to, you can stay at this place. Um, so just let me know and I'll let you know the contact and you can book it through Airbnb. So here's another meal. Um, they made it for me and then um, the plantains I bought uh, from the grocery store, they were frozen and I just fry them up. So those are the plantains and then that's like some hot sauce that they made. And then there's rice below and then like this chicken that came in a curry and then like these potatoes and a piece of squash and it's like so good. Um, I know uh, the woman made it, so uh, pretty freaking delicious. And I love being able to to have like local food. So I'm stoked. I'm totally gonna just devour this. Oh, and then also something interesting that happened. I was laying out in the hammock today, and I started feeling like like I thought the wind was vibrating the hammock, and I thought somebody was like holding the hammock, shaking it. And then uh, Jim came out on the patio and was like, did you feel that? And uh, apparently there was an earthquake here. It was a 4.6 earthquake uh, right off this side of the island. So we really felt it. cameras it's the Papago 760 and it's actually like two cameras so I can put one in the back and then one in the front so while I'm driving around Puerto Rico I can see like stuff in the back and you know front and capture things at the same time so anyway I'm just kind of figuring figuring out how to do it but this little back one is so cute and tiny look at that the coolest thing about this camera I've had other dash cams before um, including Papago but this 760 one's awesomer because look it's like a little uh, you got a little controller to move the lens. So let's go catch some video.
puertorriqueña Yo te la traigo de Cupey, de Vega Baja y de Santuce De toda parte de Puerto Rico Excited. I uh, completed my first bucket list item this morning, which was the, the world's tallest and longest zip line. And now I am at the place where we're going to put the kayaks in to go bike or bike out, <laughs> kayak out and see the bioluminescent bay. And uh, you've, you're going to have to check out both of those activities in different videos because I know this one's probably going to get a little long. Um, so check those out separately and uh, but I'm, I'm kind of excited for the day to be done. I've driven like, I don't know, like six hours today when I was trying to get from the south of the island up to the middle rainforest part. It took me three hours when it was only supposed to take a little less than two. And I kept, the GPS just was like, oh, go over this mountain where there's no road. <laughs> go drive where the sheep are. <laughs> and uh, I was like getting so lost. I was wondering if I was really ever gonna be able to find it, but Anyway, it is near the, nearing the end of the day and I'm kind of looking forward to getting in a kayak and, you know, coasting out, cruising through the, the uh, what do you call those trees, uh, like at the Everglades. Anyway, uh, so check out those videos, definitely. I'm so excited about, obviously by the time that I'm filming this right now, I've only done one, but I'm very excited to do the the kayaking and uh, the zip line was like just incredible. watching so far by the way this is just one of two videos I had so much footage that I made it into two different videos so be sure to check out the second video coming next week in the meantime stay tuned for my two bucket list videos that I completed in Puerto Rico one is zip lining over rainforest canopy and the other is kayaking out into the ocean to see the bioluminescent glow